You are now tuned in to the latest and the greatest on the Android system. The channel which gives you information every day and every way possible. It's your boy Serrano. Make sure you click that like button on your way in. And I'll see you right after this. Peace. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Serrano. And stay tuned while I unbox the Cricut uh, phone called the Cool Pad Canvas. This phone is actually a phone that is made from a manufacturer in China. Um, they have 34 million smartphones produced each year, 2 billion in revenue. They launched over 60 plus new handsets in 2014. They're China's number one smartphone manufacturer and the company is 100% owned um, a facility, a manufacturing facility, which reduces dependency and allows us them better control over the quality. Um, stay tuned while I unbox this phone. It's a, a, a company you probably never heard of before, but I'm going to leave a link below so you can learn a little bit more about the company and about some of the smartphones they produced. This one here is um, $49.99 at Best Buy. Um, stay tuned so you could learn more and we could take a look hands-on at this uh, smartphone that Cricut Wireless has actually partnered with. And they actually have a lot of partnerships on Amazon as well. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open up the box. As you see here, you get a 4G LTE speed with Android operating system, 5.5 HD display, which is 720. It has an 8 megapixel camera with a front facing camera of 5 megapixels, 1.4 gigahertz processor, 2500 milliampere battery. As you can see right here, gives you some information about the network and adding the hotspot and direct TV as well. Um, you also get some information there on the left side here. You can see the phone in the box. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna rip off this tab right here. We're gonna unbox the phone right now. Now this package is well um, put together, it has a huge battery, 2500 milliampere, with a USB connector, standard USB connector with the power brick. It also has a SIM card as well. So the phone comes with the SIM card as you could see, we'll put that there. Then it has a lot of um, information, terms and conditions, how to get started. A, a, quick start guide as well and we'll just place this off to the side and then see what else comes with the device as you can see it has the USB connector standard charging no fast charging and you get a power brick right here with the device also the battery comes included and this thing is actually huge it's great to see that it's actually removable because you could buy a few of these off of Amazon.com and then you could simply just, you know, replace them throughout your day so you can get a better um, battery time throughout the day. So let me remove this phone right out of the packaging. It's put in there real well. And this thing is super light without the battery in there. It feels like it weighs close to nothing. So let's take a look at the body and build of this thing. As you can see on the back here, it's like a granite color, like a granite black. It has the speaker right here in the bottom with a cool pad branding and cricket branding with a 3.5 headphone jack at the top. There's no microphone at the top. So on the left side, you get the volume rocker, which is smooth and it doesn't um, feel shaky or anything it's embedded inside of the phone very nicely then as we work our way to the bottom you could see that placed to the right side on the bottom is the charging um, connection right there and then on the left side you get the 
I'm sorry, the right side, you could see here, looks like the power button right there, which is feels nicely, put, um, has a nice feel there. You kind of got to dig into the phone to press it a little bit. It's placed in there very nice and precise. On the back of here, you get an 8 megapixel camera with flash. And you can see that there's a noise cancellation mic right there. Um, so there's only one mic inside this thing. And then at the top, you can see that has the um, 5 megapixel camera with the LED light right there. So this thing was $49 on um actually on bestbuy.com so let's go ahead and remove this sticker off of here and you, the screen looks nice it's, it's really big it feels well in the hand if you're if a kid's going to be using this thing you might um have some trouble holding it but as you can see here i could put my fingers all the way around the phone it's 5.5 inches with a 720 display and um it feels really light without the battery inside. Let me go ahead and put the battery inside so we could power the device on. So this thing is definitely a budget phone. It's um, pretty much 50 bucks at Cricut, or, but I got it on Best Buy on the Cyber deal today. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put the battery inside there. Before I do that, let's take a look. There's a SIM card right here for the nano sim and the micro SD for expansion as well. So we got this Qualcomm MSM8917 processor with um, quad core. Also what it gives you is two gigs of RAM and it also gives you um, 4G speeds, 5.5 TFT touchscreen it offers 16 by 9 cinema like um, screen ratio um, for great viewing for videos and gameplay and things like that. Um, so let's press this down so we could actually lock that in there. And the phone feels sort of cheap. As you can see, it's powering how much power comes out of the box. All right, so it just loaded up with the Cricut logo on there. Um, it, I could put my fingers all the way around it, which is really nice, meaning I could grip it really well. I'm not going to lose um, grip of this thing because it's super light. But we're going to just skip the setup options here. Okay, so now we're looking at the canvas, the cool pad canvas right here. I got that all set up. Um... So the screen is actually really nice. Here's it com in comparison to the LG Stylo 2 Plus as far as size goes. As you can see, it's a little bit smaller. The Stylo is actually 5.7. This one's 5.5. And then if you pull up the uh, actual ZTE Z Max, you could see that um, it's a lot smaller than that. So if you have small hands this is definitely a good phone to use but if you're like a kid or something like that then um, it might be a little bit harder to grip you might have to use it with two hands but this is the uh, size comparison right here as you can see so it's it's a little bit smaller than the ZTE uh, X Max, I'm sorry, the ZTE X Max, and here's the Stylo 2 Plus, which is um, almost the same size, but still a little bit smaller than that. So we also got um, some notifications here. You could see that it's running on Nougat with the, uh, there you could see that the The notification bar right there is nice and smooth. This phone feels really smooth so far. Um, it has that accordion-like notification bar right here, which is really fun to play with. And you can see that the, the icons rest there at the top if you don't pull it completely up. And you can see you push it down one time and you get that notification bar. Push it twice with your thumb. And you get this. Um, you could press edit 
to get some more options here hotspot invert colors data saver and nearby then you could go ahead and you can edit those as well the screen is actually really bright it's not even that high up if I put that to 100% brightness you could see it looks really good nice and bright and I'll go to the settings right here and we'll go to about phone it's running on the Android 7.0 the last patch on here was February 1st which was the beginning of the year so you know hopefully this thing will get some more updates to come the only weird thing is that the recent apps button is on the left side of the screen where I'm used to that being the back button so that's gonna take some getting used to here you can see that they have an app drawer built right inside there with all your stock Android apps you got visual voicemail my cricket um, Google apps inside of here um, as well as YouTube and Gmail now if you long press the screen you're gonna get the wallpapers right here and you're gonna get so those are really nice the screen is actually really good quality right here you get a variety of different wallpapers to choose from I actually like that one right there so we'll go ahead and set it and we'll set it to the home and lock screen so far it seems like there's absolutely no lag on here the phone is fluid and smooth it feels great in the hand for one-handed use for me I have my hands aren't that big at all but um, for someone who has small hands it might be a little bit you know hard to use but this thing is perfect I like phones that are actually 5.5 inches or bigger so this is actually like the perfect size for me here so we'll go into settings you can see it has Wi-Fi Bluetooth airplane mode you go into more you can see it has hotspot which is awesome we'll go back on the right hand side instead of the left which is gonna get take some time to get used to it has adaptive brightness um, you could change the sleep the, the screensaver ambient display as well also font size display size and when the device is rotated you can change that um, to your liking it also has notifications here for all the apps just like usual the sound you could change the the sound to your liking right here for ringtones and things like that so this thing feels super smooth so far when you're just going through everything here you can see it has some all the emojis here nothing special if you want to customize those oh it actually has all the emojis in there with all the skin tones which is very rare on Android phones so I'm actually impressed with the keyboard here with all the emojis right there let's just go into YouTube and see how this thing will actually look when we um, mess around with the YouTube so the volume is pretty good too it's not that bad at all it sounds great hey everyone Jeremy Bennett here let's look at how powerful your mind is let's compare your mind to the most sophisticated man-made device ever created and you're gonna get 720 60 frames per second so so far I'm very impressed with this small mid um, actually budget phone which is actually really a pleasure to use so far and the screen looks great the fluid fluidity of the phone is great let's go into some multitasking let's see if we have any multitasking in this thing so there's no multitasking when you press the multitasking button but that's not too disappointing considering the price we're paying for it one of the great things though is that if you go into security and smart lock and actually um, open it up it has trusted face recognition so this thing has actual face recognition and um, on body detection with the smart lock 
all you have to do to set up that face recognition is click this trusted face, allow it, then put your face into the phone and let it do its thing. So I'm really impressed for $49.99. This phone is super smooth. It's running on Android 7.0. Um, let's check out the cameras now. So it has a pro version right here where you get, whoa, manual modes in there. So that's really impressive, just to say the least. ISO, auto, um, has autofocus. You could change the saturation to your liking. So I'm actually really impressed with this little budget the device here um, for $49.99. As photo right here, you could check out the photo, HDR on or off, flash. You could switch the camera. Then you get more options here for panorama. You can go into settings and it has storage path. You could choose shutter sound, location, brightness, touch to take pictures, um, a timer, volume key capture, um, grid lines, everything like that. And I've never actually seen this mode before. It has night mode. Night mode is suitable for shooting in low light um, settings. So it actually, actually has its own mode for um, low light, which is absolutely incredible. Let's take a few pictures here so we can see how fast the speed is on there. And that was actually pretty quick. So you got a pro mode here. And it, this thing is absolutely amazing. Let's take a look at some of those photos. Oh, so that's pretty good. Some good detail on there. So actually, I would highly recommend this device right here for $49.99. This is the unboxing of the CoolPad Canvas. I'm going to go ahead and put my SIM card in here and test the phone out for a few weeks. And I'll get back to you guys on what I think. But right now, I'm super impressed with this thing. Um, all the features that it does have. 7.0 Nougat. Um, the night mode on the camera. The, the manual settings on the camera. Um, the fluidity of the um, screen and the um, for the processor that it doesn't have inside of there. Um, it's actually, um, it's knocking my socks off, blowing my mind right now with what I was actually expecting and what I'm getting here. It doesn't have a fingerprint scanner, but it's definitely feels good in the hand. It's nice and light. It's a huge screen here for, for the price, 5.5 inches. I wouldn't go under that. And I would definitely recommend this phone for somebody looking for a budget phone or just a daily phone or a backup phone, but I'd actually use this as a daily driver. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my SIM card in here after the video and hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing. I'll see you guys in the next video. Definitely click that like button if you found it helpful. Um, in the meantime, thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Have a great afternoon, morning, evening, depending on where you are and good night. It's your boy Serrano and peace.